Greetings, my golden friends. Today we're gonna look into a song, which is, uh, in my opinion, is highly spiritual song. This is my version of writing this song on um, paper. Maybe you wanna look into the chords and uh, you wanna play it on the guitar. It's really, really nice song. So, Mad World, Mad, Mad World by Gary Jules. Sometimes I say it's um, Westworld, <laughs> just like that movie, the series of the movies that created Westworld. That we live in very interesting times now, right? So let's look into this song, the meaning of this song. It's um, from the movie Donnie Darko. And in Hollywood and music industry in the United States, there are a lot of people who are highly spiritual. Maybe they're not completely enlightened, but at least they are trying to. They are on a, on a path. So you can see it in the movies, you can see it in the songs. So this movie and the, uh, this song, in my opinion, reveal a lot of gems about God. So let's talk about it. So Mad World, it starts with the words... All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces. So yeah, if we see this world, which is material world, when we see it through the eyes, you see that everything is decayed. That's how matter works. Your spirit, which is inside your heart, is eternal. But everything around it, your physical body, the house, the car, everything deteriorates constantly. You know, it grows reaches the high peak state and then decays. You can look at the trees. Trees are never satisfied with their state. They keep on constantly growing, become bigger and bigger and bigger until the point of no return and they, they decay. Right? So same thing with our physical body. Next line is bright and early for the daily races, going nowhere, going nowhere. So yeah, we get up early, go to work, or do whatever, go to school, do a lot of stuff which is mostly not spiritual. Yeah, and we go nowhere because of it. We keep on doing things again and again, repeating it. And the next line in this song is tears are their tears are filling up their glasses. No expression, no expression. So yeah, a lot of people are in a state of suffering. They in a constant state of suffering, but they don't show it. Right, just because somebody has a big smile on their face, it doesn't mean they they not suffer. They are still far away from God, and that just expression that they learn from you know Hollywood or media. You're supposed to have a smile; it just feels better and looks good, especially for salespeople. You know, if they put a smile, it sells. And hide my head. I want to draw my sorrow. No tomorrow. No tomorrow. So this is kind of depressing. I'm not I'm gonna even go into this line. But then there's a chorus, and I find it hard, kind of funny. I find it kind of sad. So at the same time, it's funny and sad. You know, this knowledge that um, when people become enlightened, I guess they see this whole world being crazy, running around in circles, going nowhere, and it's funny and sad at the same time. You know. And then he's saying, the dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. So physical body, when it decays and dies, your spirit, your essence becomes free of this um, cage, which is a rib cage. Your heart is inside the rib cage. So when your spirit becomes free of the physical body, it's the best experience from that standpoint. But when you in the physicality, you are clinging to it, you are um, possessed by it, you know. So it, it's uh, in this song, he's saying, dying is one of the best things. And um, he f in the next lines are, I find it hard to tell you, and I find it hard to take. So it's a very powerful uh, statement here that it's difficult to give the knowledge of God and at the same time it's very difficult to take knowledge of God. Both are true. And uh, when people are not ready to take the spiritual knowledge of God, they're not ready. 
That's why in the Bible there is a phrase, don't throw your gems in front of the swine and don't give your holy holiness or something to dogs. So basically don't give it knowledge of God to those people who are not ready to accept it, to take it. You have to be a student, spiritual student, and you have to be qualified to uh, take that knowledge. And the next uh, lines of this chorus is, when people run in circles, it's a very, very mad world. So running in circles implies reincarnation. And it's a theory, and nobody can prove it materialistically, 100%. It's impossible. So it's a theory of reincarnation. But many Christians say in our religion it does not exist. But if you look at the word religion, the word religion itself implies reincarnation. Look at the two parts. Re, religion. Religion, it comes from the word legare, to unite, to connect, to unite, right? Legare, legion, right? It's many, many people together. Legion, legare, so unite. But then there is a prefix, suffix before this, re. Re means again, do again. So do again implies that you have to reunite yourself with God again because last life you were not able to. You failed. So this life you have another chance. So the word itself, re religion, implies that it's we live in reincarnation um, reality right now, which is not the reality, but nothing but the reality. It's Maya, it's illusion, right? So next um, lines, it's um, children waiting for the day they feel good. Happy birthday, happy birthday. So yeah, most people are trained by their um, parents. Let's call them Masonic parents because most of us, are trained in the society of Masonic pyramid. Everything comes from above. The ruler, your parents are the rulers of the family. They tell children what to do, right? So, but kids are learning from the young age that happy birthday is the best day your materialistic desires gets fulfilled. You get that book, you get that iPhone, you get that car, you get that bicycle, you get that doll, whatever materialistic nonsense you desire you will get on birthday right and uh, and then when you start going true religion and realize you have to let go of your desires it becomes like oh my god i i still have so many desires like what do i do with them <laughs> it's not enough of one birthday it's like you, you want to have so much but then why people don't ask themselves like why do you need all this stuff Happy birthday. And then, um, and I feel the way that every child should sit and listen, sit and listen. So, yeah, like every child, we sit and listen in school, we sit and listen at home, we are told what to do, or the big daddy government tells us just sit and listen, we'll tell you what to do, what not to do, you know. So, and many people, from the point of Christianity, many people, they just give up. They think, oh, everything is done for me. Jesus already sacrificed himself for all my sins, so I don't need to do anything. Right? So it's a mistake. It's a huge mistake that people think that they don't have to do anything. You have to. Nobody can delete your desires but you. You have to do it. There is no teacher, no guru can do it for you. They can give you knowledge and tools, but you have to do that work yourself. Nobody can quit alcohol for you. You have to quit drinking yourself. And nobody can do it for you. So sitting and listening of spiritual knowledge is, is important. But then you have to act. So when I went to school and I was very nervous, no one knew me, no one knew me. Hello, teacher, tell me what's my lesson. Look right through me, look right through me. So... Hello, teacher, to me, it uh, looks like it's a coding of words. Hell, O. O is something sacred, like our physical body made of many O's. It's circular, lots of circles, right? 
although people who go to university they get a square head <laughs> so they're not circle anymore circle is something that is eternal right if you go eternally in a circle you go up and down up and down left and right left so we are in this circle of life eternal circle but they make it hellish right in school it's like hell so that's why it, the words are hello teacher hell oh teacher tells you what's your lesson right look right through me so they see what you like in school and they already prop in you for the job that will be suitable for you in the future if you're going to be a lawyer a doctor a mechanic engineer a musician they look right through you and they see who you are they even take the blood samples of you when you when you are born you go to the hospital they take the blood samples so they probably have um, your previous life's DNA coding in it so it's interesting that our material body can be adjusted manipulated brainwashed you know <laughs> upgraded and right now cloned yeah they talk about clones and I'm gonna record the video about it and don't judge because you don't know maybe your previous you know generations thousands of years ago they were also from cloning facilities and you right now upgraded to the level where you are now spiritually upgraded yourself thanks to your previous generations effort as well so clones also gonna have heart heart is a spiritual center and uh, within the heart there's a cave where yogis meditate you don't need to go to mountains to find some caves it's all propaganda uh, yogis meditate within their heart in the darkness by the way this song is from the movie Donnie Darko which is interesting Donnie I guess it's Donald Darko means dark which is interesting Krishna in Hindu religion Krishna means dark as well darkness so you have to you know find that within your dark space in the heart the spiritual center it's in the dark it's unknown that's what it implies it's unknown so you have to get to know it you have to self-realize yourself enlighten yourself from that dark space right inside the heart all right so I have some notes here now I'm gonna go and see what else we have not talked about okay the first point that when you personally become very spiritual you're gonna start noticing knowledge of God everywhere even in the places you never looked for like for example myself I found this song not too long ago Mad World by Gary Jules and it's all because I rewatched this movie Donnie Darko you know which is it has some propaganda in this movie they actually show that if your child hears voices in the head which is they do have technology voice to skull technology so just send them to a doctor the shrink which is interesting word shrink it will shrink you uh, and they will give you the pills and then you become even more brainwashed so be careful with your own self and with your children uh, natural sunlight walking barefoot good food good clean water that's why they're poisoning our water supply all around the world now and also air so people don't get access to purity because God's, God is in purity it's cleanliness it's it's emptiness it's uh, soundless space within your heart now war, um, God is beyond words words always return back from God you cannot reach God with words you have to get a lot of knowledge first but then when you're ready to meditate you let go of all the yap 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 talking you know so yeah interesting movie Donnie Darko truth and lies mixed together just like all the Hollywood movies they give you a little bit of truth and then lots of lies yeah we already talked about Jesus have done all the work for you you just have to relax enjoy the show this mad world you know Jesus sacrificed himself for you so you don't have to do it no you have to do something you have to reach the highest level and to do that you have to pedal the bicycle two pedals first 
get the knowledge about God, true knowledge, real knowledge about God. The second pedal, slowly let go of your desires. Not easy, <laughs> so take your time. Especially knowing that you are eternal spirit. But again, everybody finds its own pace and progress. You'll find yours. When people run in circles, the, the words imply the, the reincarnation exists. Mm. Sit and listen become, becomes like a Masonic order. Of the, yeah, I already said that. Masonic pyramid. And family enforces that on their children to do as our previous generations did. And initiation by mask, everybody was offered that initiation. You can put on the mask and be like everybody else, <laughs> be a mason. So everybody was asked to join and participate in the Masonic. Uh, it's it's a Masonic, what, what is it? Not simple, it's a Masonic ritual. It's a ritual, yes. But uh, same thing with mainstream religion. When you go to churches, mosques, and, you know, I've never been to all of them, but most of them practice rituals. And they are true in a way. They're actually showing you that this is what you're supposed to do. Burn the candle. It's a symbol of burning your desires. Wearing the cross, crossing yourself, that's a symbol of crossing your desires. You have to do it. Church cannot do it for you. Priest cannot do it for you. Guru cannot do it for you. You have to do it for yourself. To save yourself by yourself. By the way, look up my videos about Kichari Mudra. Save yourself by yourself and other stuff. It's really good because I think it's very important to practice that, um, to meditate. True meditation without Kichari, it's very difficult and maybe even impossible, in my opinion. You know. I don't know everything, but this is my suggestion. It's really, really good. Practice your physical body. It's very intelligent. It's very um, highly adaptable. With your physical body, you can learn different tools and techniques. You can learn languages like your uh, vocal cords can produce Russian language, English language, Spanish, French. Any language that you learn, you will be producing from your Vishuddha center, your neck area, the words. And words are swords. <laughs> you know, a lot of people swear. Words are swords. All right, so I think this is it for this song, Mad World. I didn't just pick this song out of blue. You can enjoy it um, on YouTube from other players, which is much better. My version is with a cell phone so the quality is not as good of course but we talked about philosophy of the song which is much more important than the song itself which is singing is for pleasure so enjoy it and maybe you can practice it yourself you saw the chords you saw uh, how it's supposed to be and i wish you all the best thank you all for your comments for your emails for your donations thank you for your support and love, much love to all of you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.